This is Christopher Mosier from My Media Helper. In the summer and warmer months, I like to take day trips to small towns and places off the beaten path found around western and central New York. New York has a lot to offer, and at times I don't think the residents who live here know that. How many times have I heard there's nothing to do in New York? The answer is a lot, and a ton of it is in your backyard. Or if you happen to be visiting this area, uh, it's beautiful uh, during the summer and fall months. This time out, we're going to look at the grounds and architecture of the Veteran Associated Medical Center tucked away in the landscape of Bath, New York. The Bath VA Medical Center is a U.S. Veterans Administration hospital located in Bath, Steuben County, New York. Affiliated with the University of Rochester School of Medicine, it provides secondary care and operates clinics in Elmira and Wellsville, New York, and Cottersport in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2013 and designated a National Historical District. The Bath Branch, now the Bath VA Medical Center in Bath, New York, was founded as the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home, New York State Lease, and eventually sold the facility to the National Home of Disabled Volunteer Soldiers Board of Managers in 1929 after its membership declined. Toward the close of the Civil War, the citizens of New York saw the need for a soldier's home to care for disabled veterans. The state legislator drafted a bill to establish such a home, but the bill failed partly because families felt they could take care of the disabled veterans themselves. Shortly thereafter, it became apparent that some families could not care for their disabled veterans, and other veterans did not receive the support they needed. In 1872, the state passed a law to establish a state home but did not appropriate any money for its construction. The Grand Army of the Republic, the Union's Veteran Association, decided to raise $100,000 to build the state home. The area around Bath, New York, contributed $23,000 to the efforts, so the Grand Army of the Republic decided to locate the state home near there. The cornerstone of the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home was laid on June 13th of 1877, and it opened to veterans on Christmas Day of 1978. The Grand Army of the Republic, the GAR, built the first three buildings. That's buildings 33, 34, and 35. <laughs> I'm not sure why they started there. On the campus, these buildings were heated with steam radiators from a central heating plant and used gas lighting. The property was transferred to the state in 1878 greatly expanded and rededicated in 1879 as the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home Bath. It initially housed disabled New York veterans of the American Civil War, as mentioned, but as the men aged, it became largely a geriatric facility. The number of residents peaked at 2,143 in 1907, and by 1928, the number of residents had fallen to 192. What a drop. The state of New York built several additional buildings after the GIR used its funds for the first three buildings. These buildings included staff quarters, a hospital, which was building 29, and Union Chapel, which was building 39. The state home functioned much the same as the National Home for Disabled uh, Volunteer Soldier branches. The men lived at the branch and had the option of participating in many activities, and the branch maintained a 241-acre farm. In 1917, the branch sold $17,186.72 worth of farm, that's very precise, uh, worth of farm and garden produce. The branch had a bowling alley installed in 1885 and a moving picture plant for manufacturing movies in 1909. Veterans of the Spanish-American War and World War I also were treated at the facility. More than 32,000 veterans received treatment between 1879 and 1932. Veterans had to be residents of New York for at least one year to become members of the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home. Membership peaked in 1907 with 1,907 members. Over the years, the Grand Army of the Republic petitioned the Board of Managers to incorporate the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home into the National Home for Disabled Volunteer System. In 1928, the branch only had 192 members, which we mentioned. At that time, the state again sought the, sought the transfer ownership of the home to the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers. This process took almost two years, and the federal government took over operation in 1929 and renamed it the Bath Branch of National Home for Disabled Veteran Soldiers. The U.S. Veterans Administration was created in 1930, and the hospital and its grounds were deeded over to it in 1932. 
In 1929, the New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home became the Bath Branch of the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers one year before Executive Order 5398 consolidated the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers, Veterans Bureau, and Bureau of Pensions into a newly created Veterans Administration. The federal government leased the facility for 10 years, and in 1932, the state formally deeded it to the Veterans Administration, ending state ownership and management requirements of the facility. Set along the Cohocton River, the Bath Branch still has 30 historic pre-1900 buildings designed in the Georgian colonial Victorian and shtick, stick styles. Uh, the diversity of buildings illustrates the wide variety of services the Bath Branch provided for veterans. The cemetery, dating from 1879, is located in the northwestern corner of the campus. The modern medical center is mostly an outpatient facility. It has the capacity of 440 beds and provides services to more than 1,200 veterans. Adjacent to the home is that National Cemetery mentioned, where many of its residents are buried. And the National Cemetery north of the parade ground was established in 1879 for burial of state home residents. The cemetery officially became a national cemetery when the state transferred the home to the federal government in 1929. The 40-foot granite monument was dedicated in 1892 to the memory of soldiers and sailors who served in the Civil War. Mm -hmm.